Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, beloved. We are, God just bless us from the 10th month. And then now we are in the 11th month. So between the 10th and the 11th, and then uh, through the 12th month, which is the end of the year, God begins to pour blessings upon you and I. So I did the 10th month series. There was the, uh, the last part of it, which is part three, uh, Sunday series, which is the 10th month, part three, Sunday series. And as I have already, you know, taught that, I've done part one, part two, and then I really want to end with the third part, and then we begin with the 11th month series. Um, the part three, which is Sunday series of the, the last part of the 10th month, uh, actually, as I've already uh, taught, that is a divine order of blessings. That God begins by order in the 10th month and then the 11th month, as he does with the children of God uh, throughout the scriptures, uh, God begins to let certain blessings, uh, you know, begin to unfold. You begin to experience them. But what happens is people who doubt God, people who do not take an action, many of them might be left behind. Whereas those who believe that God has already done it and they move according to how God deals with this, uh, his nation Israel, especially through the Old Testament and Jesus, also comes in because we are in a time normally between the 10th month, 11 and 12. If you look at the weeks, they fall within Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay, you look at the weeks. Normally the 10th week, weeks, the 10th through the 12th, they fall according to the Bible books, fall within the good news times. So if you do not understand it, you sit down, maybe blaming God or anticipating the blessing in the following year. But you should not sit down and let all these blessings pass by you. You should decree, declare, and sometimes through warfare, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, go through the topics very shortly, you know, and the point. So the tenth month, as I said, is declaration of good news. Because you look at the, the tenth weeks of the year by the books from Genesis, they fall within uh, the good news. You know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they fall within that section, which usher, which usher you and I into uh, the New Testament or the blessings that Jesus had come in that Jesus came to take our sins, our weaknesses, and then he came that you'll be able to link us to the New Testament blessings. So, beloved, it's a little bit, you need to understand that maybe you might not be able to catch up, but you understand it as I move on, okay? So, the 10th man series, which is divine order of blessings, that's why Jesus came, because if you look at the, the Old Testament, the, I mean, the gap between the Old Testament and the New Testament, as we all know, 400 years uh, is also uh, as, you know, like uh, 40, because we can see, we, we can derive 40 out of 400. Okay, the 400 years were a time of probation. It was a time of silence. And then the New Testament, now, uh, the people of Israel begin to see that the Messiah, the Savior, had been born. And Jesus came to take, you know, our sinful nature. He came to uh, help us. He came to give us the best, you know, covenant. So the 10th month, 11 and 12, always falls within a time, if you look at the weeks, it falls within a time of good news. So if you understand it, you will not sit down. You do everything to take what is yours. 
okay? And I'm going to prove them through the scriptures. So, as I have already said, it's a time of divine order of blessings. Uh, as I started teaching that God will give us visibility and hope, God will resolve every problem that we have within the year, and God will give us favor and realization of our dreams. It starts from the 9th, 10th, and 11th, 12th month, okay? And then, as I said, burdens, I've already taught that also, burdens will be lifted off of your life, and God gives us grace and mercy. So the last portion is waging warfare and declaration of our blessings. So that's what I'm talking about right now. You must wage warfare between the 10th, 11th, and 12th to get everything for visibility, for every blessing that God designed. Because, beloved, understand this, that I quoted in the second part, that Daniel had prayed, and the blessings were already there, but the prince of Persia were fighting the angel Gabriel who was bringing it, who was bringing the blessings or the answers to Daniel's prayer. And to Gabriel also ordered angel Michael to come and then to fight for them to be able to get the results, you know, uh, you know, delivered. So this is life is spiritual. And so life, you need to decree and declare. And that's where we are now. Before, you know, the 11th month, you need to wage a warfare. You need to decree. You need to say. I mean, the enemy will bring all kinds of attacks, but don't worry about that. Decree and declare that you are more than a conqueror. You shall not die. You and your children are blessed. Your business will prosper. Everything that God has said concerning you, from January to December, you are beginning to realize it. You are experiencing it. That is how, you know, it is being done. Okay? So the topic, which is the part, part three of the 10th month, ushering us to the 12th month. Part three of the 10th month, ushering us to, uh, to the 12th month, because I will talk about the 11th month also series. Okay? It says, waging warfare and declaration of all your blessings within this year. You must wage a warfare and decree and declare everything that God has already designed for you. Beloved, that is how many great men of God, that's how they are able to uh, bring into fruition their dreams. You know, because they know from the scriptures. So understand this, okay? So I'm going to talk about three points, okay? So the topic, which is part three, it says waging warfare and declaration of all your blessings this year. All the blessings that God has designed, you should not let one of them even what? Get interrupted by the enemy. You need to experience all that blessing, all the money, all the blessings for your children, all the blessings for your life, for your marriage. You need to experience all of them. That is how God does things. That's how God works with his people. Okay? So we're going to look at it. The first point is, states that we are in a month, the 10th month through the 12th. Okay? It's a month of warfare and victory. A month of warfare and victory for us throughout the end of the year. You see, between 9, 10, 11, and 12, God begins to give you victory. Every, because the enemy will fight you every way. The enemy will bring fear. The, the enemy will attack your children. They will attack your ministry. They will attack everything, your finances. Why? Because they know God has started unleashing and releasing all the blessings. So they will fight back. So that is how it is. So point number one, I'm talking about three points. Point number one, beloved, says that it's a month of warfare and victory for us throughout or through the end of the year, okay? Okay, first scripture, Jeremiah chapter 39 verse 1. The reason why you need to wage the warfare, the enemy, they don't relax, they, lo they don't relent, okay? Jeremiah 39 verse 1, the Bible says that in the ninth year, of Zedekiah, I've already quoted it in the second part, 
but I'm repeating it here again because uh, it is very, very essential, very important. You have to understand that. Okay, Jeremiah 39 verse 1. In the ninth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the tenth month, the Bukadnezar, king of Babylon, and all his army came against Jerusalem and besieged it. That is what the enemy is doing. That's what they are. They are casting out sicknesses. They are, they are having demonic meetings. They are calling your names. They are doing everything. You need, you and I need to counteract that everything that they set up, they will fall in their own pit holes. Everything they plot in the area of, uh, in the area of like sicknesses, death, accident, anything against our children, our finances, our jobs, you need to fight back. That is how it is. Um, Babylon did that against Jerusalem, okay? The second scripture is Jeremiah chapter 52, verse number 4. The Bible says that now it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, on the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and his army came against Jerusalem, and they encamp against it, and they build a siege wall against it and around it. That's what these demonic forces do. Okay? This is another portion, another, another part of it that Jeremiah, uh, you know, quoted again. They didn't just come and attack it. They took time. So that is, how, that is how the enemy does. It takes time. It could be, it could be months. They plot, they set up against us, against our business, against our children. That's what they do. So you should not also relax. If you have sinned, you ask for forgiveness and keep up praying every day. Okay? That's how you begin to, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to experience the continuous blessings that God has designed for you within the year. Okay? So we're going to go to, I'm going to quote the, uh, the third scripture okay the third scripture about a month of warfare and victory for us through the end of the year okay okay the third scripture is ezekiel chapter 29 verse 1 to 7 i quoted it before but i'm quoting all of them again so that you will understand the way god works within 10 11 and 12 months okay okay so now ezekiel chapter 29 verse 1 to 7 Okay, I read. The Bible says that in the tenth year, in the tenth month, on the twelfth day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Speak and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Pharaoh, king of Egypt, O great monster, who lies in the midst of his rivers, who has said, My river is my own. I've made it for myself. Verse 4. But I will put hooks in your jaws. This is what God is saying. That Ezekiel should decree against, uh, you know, uh, the king, should decree against King Pharaoh of Egypt. Okay? So verse, verse number 4 says, But I will put hooks in your jaws and cause the fish of your rivers to stick to your scales and i'll bring you up out of the midst of your rivers and all the fish in your rivers will stick to your scales and i will leave you in the wilderness and you and all the fish of your rivers you shall fall on the open field you shall not be picked up or gathered I've given you as food to the beast of the field and to the birds of the heaven. So you decree that between now and December, all these demonic men of God, demonic women and men, uh, fake friends and fake people from the family, you decree that everything they set up against you, your marriage, against your children, any wicked wife, any wicked husband, anybody at all who is not from God. Because today, everybody goes to church. Everybody is a pastor. 
Okay? But many of them do not have good spirit. They have evil spirit. So you decree, like God said, Ezekiel should, you know, decree and what? And pronounce this judgment against Pharaoh. You decree that anything that they set up, it goes back to them. We heap their, their curses upon their head. Anybody you do not know, known and unknown enemies. The Bible says that they will fall in their own trenches. The Bible says that they shall die. You and your children will not die. The Bible says that you shall live to declare the works of the Lord. Beloved, you don't know who your enemy is. Everybody will smile at you. People you are with in the church, men of God surrounding you, you don't know who your enemies are. So you set up anywhere they mention the, your name and your children's name. You decree that it goes back to their head. We heap their curses upon them, their plots, their evil doings upon their own head. Beloved, you need to pray this prayer. And so now we go to the second point, okay? We go to the second point which says, which states that it is a time of declaration and proclamation of blessings upon your life and your family or your children, okay? So we are in a time between 10th month, 11 and 12, you begin to decree every day, every morning. You begin to thank God all the time. You begin, you begin to decree, declare, and by faith take what is yours. And they will begin to unfold just like that. So the second point is that we are in a time of declaration and also proclamation of blessings upon our lives and our children's life, okay? Psalms number 121, okay? Psalms 121, verse number 7 through 8. Psalms 121, verse number 7 through 8. It's a very beautiful scripture. The Bible says that the Lord will keep us. The Lord will keep you, okay? This is God saying it. You are a child of God. So, appropriate it upon your life, upon your children's life, okay? Upon your loved ones, okay? The Bible says that the Lord will keep you and I from all evil, okay? And the Lord will keep our life, okay? That is the month that we are in, okay? The three months remaining. The Lord will keep our lives, okay? And then the Lord will what? Will keep our going out and our coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Okay? Beloved, this is the word of God. Okay? Pronounce it. Say it. Release it upon your children. Release it upon your loved ones. Release it upon your spirit, soul, and whole body that the Lord says you will keep me from all evil. The Lord says you will keep my life. The Lord says you will keep my going out and my what? And my coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Okay? The second scripture for point number two. Numbers chapter 6 verse 24 to 20, 26 is a popular scripture. Okay? Decree upon yourself that the Lord will bless me. The Lord will keep me. The Lord will make his face. The Lord will make his face to shine upon me and the Lord will be gracious to me. You know, say it like I'm saying it, okay? The Lord will be gracious to me because I, whilst I'm teaching you, I'm also decreeing and also pronouncing these blessings upon my life and my children's life, okay? The Lord will be gracious to me and my children. The Lord will lift up his countenance upon me and the Lord will give me peace, okay? So, beloved, decree this and say it upon your life. It works very powerfully, okay? Decree this upon your life within throughout the 10th month and what? And through the end of the year, the 12th month, okay? 11 and 12, okay? And then the, the, the third scripture for the second point is Psalms 118 verse 17. These are popular scriptures, okay? Psalm 118 verse 17. The Bible says that I shall not die, but I shall live and decree or declare the deeds of the Lord. So another version says that I shall not die, but I shall live to declare the works of the Lord. This one says, I will decree and recount and declare the deeds of the Lord. Another version says, 
I shall not die, but I shall live to declare the works of the Lord. Okay? And so speak this upon your life and your children's life. Beloved, it works a lot. So we now move to the last section, the third point. Okay? The the third point, the third point of what we, you know, of this topic, that waging warfare and declaration of your blessings throughout the whole year. The third point states that you are already victorious. According to what Christ has done, we are already victorious over our enemies. Okay? And we will always rule over them in Christ Jesus. Because God is with us. Because Jesus has already done the work for you and I. You have to say it to your spirit, soul, and whole body that you will always rule over your enemies. Beloved, it works. Trust me, it works very powerfully. Decree and declare that I will always rule over them. Because you are not planning evil against anybody. But when they plan, because they are evildoers, you will always rule over them. That is how God did it for uh, David. That's how God did it for Moses. That's how God did it for, uh, you know, Abraham and all these patriots. Okay. So the third part is that you are already victorious over your enemies. And you always rule over them in Christ Jesus. Okay. First scripture, Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. The Bible says that no weapon that is fashioned against you and I, shall be able to prosper or shall succeed, okay? And the Bible says you and I, okay, we will refute or you and I will destroy every tongue that will rise against us in judgment, okay? So we will we will cause the judgment of God upon them because we haven't done anything wrong to them, okay? And the Bible says this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their vindication from me, the Lord, de- you know, declares the Lord. So it's your, it's your heritage. It's, it's It belongs to you and I. The Bible says that no weapon that is fashioned against us shall succeed or prosper. Okay? And you and I, we will destroy or refute every tongue that they lift against us. Okay? That rises against you and I in judgment. This is the heritage. Okay? This is our inheritance in Christ. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord or the children of the Lord and their vindication from the Lord, declares the Lord, okay? Okay, the second scripture states, says that Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4, okay? The second scripture, very powerful, okay? Deuteronomy or Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4. The Bible says that for the Lord your God is he, okay? Is he. Who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you the victory? So that's why I already stated it in the point that we are already victorious. Because God is always fighting for us and our children. And we are always winning in life. Oh my God, I feel some anointing here. Okay? It is the Lord who goes with us and he fights against our enemies and he gives us victory. Okay, and then the last scripture, First John chapter number 5 verse 4. It's a popular scripture as we all know. The last scripture. The Bible says that for everyone who has been born of God through Christ, right, overcomes the world. Okay, and this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith. Another version will say even our faith. So, beloved, you never let your faith die in Christ. Never. Even if you have sinned, confess. Even if you are down, you are about to give up. Get up and start praising God. Okay? The Bible says that I will enter into his gate with thanksgiving. Start thanking God. That's where our strength comes back. So, you start thanking God and you enter into his courts with praise. And after that, God, the spirit of God will revive you again. That's how we serve God. Sometimes it can be down, sometimes it can be in sin, and you are down, and the enemy thinks he got you, you know, you have to confess and get up again. That is how it works, okay? So 1 John 5, 4, the last scripture. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, 
even our faith. So may the Lord richly bless you. We will continue with the 11th month series. May the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.